Hello, hello to everyone out there in the Boomage universe. We are back with a demo Boomage video, and today we've got an exciting video. This is going to be our HQ16 series. So essentially what this account is, is it's going to be fully maxed for HQ16. That's going to be the goal. So as of right now, all my landing crafts are maxed for uh, HQ16. You know, my uh, mines are maxed for HQ16. There's still a few things in terms of defenses I need to upgrade, residents and whatnot. But the plan with this account is to keep everything um, at HQ16 so that I can attack the daily events, map clear, do operation hits and whatnot, just to give you guys a bit of an idea on what can be done with a lower level account. Now, as you can see, these are my statues here. We have four gumboat statues, nothing too special here. Got a resource reward, troop health, which is very, very, very low, and then two damage statues. Now, what I'm probably gonna do at some point is drop this masterpiece because I'm not going to really need the resources and get another damage statue and then obviously I need to get a better uh, health statue as well. So what we're going to be covering in this video is imitation game because that is on my map right here and then I've also got some footage from yesterday's uh, war factory and so we'll be showing off what I did on that. <clears throat> so I'm going to stay unboosted for this but I am going to boost the resource reward just because I want to you know, obviously get more resources. There's a few things in my armory that I want to upgrade. Probably going to go... I'm not sure if I'm going to go heavies next or if I should work on tanks because the tanks are going to be useful for when Mega Crab comes. So we're just going to, I don't know, we're just going to have a play around and see what happens. So, like I said, unboosted apart from the resource reward. As an HQ16, we don't have access to any tribes. So this is my map. We don't have any tribes. We don't have critters. It's, uh, it's a different sort of uh, style of gameplay, that's for sure. So let's move this back here. Not that we, you know, defend, defend against many raids, anyway. Now, I'm not sure how far I'm going to get in uh, Imitation Game today. But, you know, I feel like I could get to stage 5 pretty easily. On my main account, I obviously took it down very, very easily yesterday. But uh, stage 7 was a bit of a doozy. I had two shield gens. It was, uh, I think I had a bit of ice as well. It was just not a good time. So, oh, that's a, that's a mistake. Obviously, didn't mean to do that. So, luckily, we're going to get out of this because it's such a low level. That was an accidental flare, so don't do that. But, uh, yeah, so we should get, <clears throat> I would say we should easily, easily get to stage five. Maybe not easily, but we'll get to stage five without too much trouble. If I can get, I'd be happy about getting stage six done. Um, but we will have to wait and see how this holds up. It's very, it's a bit of a transition going from a maxed account to an HQ16 where you don't have the best statues or tribes or anything like that. Like, as you can see, I've only got seven boats. Oh, it looks like I can upgrade one of my, uh, maybe I, maybe I can't. Ooh, oh, that was a terrible walk. <clears throat> Battle orders, a couple of shocks. So we don't have a... We've got a decent amount of gumboot energy, I feel like. For the longest time, I had like a really, really low uh, gumboot energy. I think I've got a 34 now. I think I had like 22 or 20 or something like... I know, just like a disgustingly low uh, gumboot statue. But now having 34%, it's obviously not perfect. We're, what, 8% off max, but it's... It's a, a huge amount uh, better, and I can't wait to get an extra damage statue as well because I think that's going to be very, very beneficial. So, I'm still learning about how many mines I can tank with these level. What, I don't know what level these warriors are, but uh, I think I should be able to hit a few mines. Yeah, we're in good shape. Now, I like to use these ground flares because, as you can see, they just walk a little bit tighter. And then you can just reflare onto the HQ. Now look, we want to get my shocks out, med kit going. We've got enough for artillery. It's not really going to matter. So yeah, we're, we're doing pretty good. Stage three is taken down. I should have actually checked the health on that. That's uh, that's going to help me decide whether I can take down a base or not. 
So got yeah, this is what I love about uh, imitation game. The resources are insane, and having a little bit of a boost from that uh, that statue is awesome as well. So we got a minute on that. It's so probably not going to need that extra warrior just yet. Stage number four. So we've got a prototype, a shock blaster two, eighty-five thousand, and then a shock launcher. So I feel like I can take this one down. I'm not sure what my max is in terms of damage, but I feel like I can take down like a hundred thousand health. On uh, HQ right now, so we will just wait and see. So we'll flare up to here, see if we can save some energy, and then let's flare onto the HQ. Do two more smokes. Oh, I was worried about them going around the outside. Damn. All right, so we've got 60 gunboat left. Battle orders. We'll go shock. We'll go shock. We'll go shock, and a med kit, artillery. So this one's going to go down as well. So yeah, 85,000 went down pretty quickly. We did lose a few troops, which is obviously a bit disappointing. Now, I don't have instant training on this account. This is like my... What number account is this? This is probably my fourth most used account. I think we've got about eight accounts. So this is like my fourth. And uh, yeah, so I don't have instant training or anything like that. But uh, I probably... Did I? No, let's go back. We might have to... Uh, Spend some diamonds to speed this up. It's gonna cost me 10, that is fine by me. So we got a pretty handy amount up there, 14, 14, which I like to see. All right, imitation game is stage five, four attacks left. So right now we're in good shape. Couple of prototypes and a shock launcher. So, ah, oh, that was annoying. I was just gonna check the health of that shock launcher. All right, well. This is a bit of a how to not do things so far. All right, so we get smokes up to the HQ. Now, because it's a short walk and there's not much in the way, I'm happy to do a flare onto the HQ, but obviously normally if it was a longer walk, I would do the, uh, I would do the ground flare just to uh, make them walk a lot nicer. And that's stage five going down pretty easily as well. Yeah, so, so far so good. So far, so good. So, I mean, if we take down stage six with one attack, then we might be in good shape to take down stage seven. I'm not, not gonna uh, think, you know, overthink it just yet. Or oh, 20. Getting expensive to uh, upgrade these troops. Yeah, I feel like we can take down stage six, 140,000. There's nothing in the way. There's no ice. For some reason, he has green statues. Oh, he's got a damage statue. 20%, nothing special. Rocket launcher is in range. The shock launcher is not really in range. So this is going to go down. And then it's going to set us up really, really well for the last uh, stage. Because it will give us two attacks. And what I might be able to do... I mean, actually, I'm not going to spoil it. Let's just, uh, let's just focus on getting this done now. And then we will go from there. So we're going to flare up into that corner. Get these smokes going. Now, there's not a lot of shocking needed up at the HQ, so I don't mind spending a few extra smokes. Hopefully Brick stays in. Lovely, lovely. Get battle orders going. Now let's just throw a shock there, and a shock there, and a med kit for fun, and our last artillery is gonna go out. And that is stage six, absolutely smashed. That is a lot better than I expected. This is what I'm saying though about these events, they're just too easy now. So there's an HQ-16, I'm smashing it. Smashing it, only lost five troops. But look at that, half a million gold. Beautiful, beautiful resources. So, this is very exciting. Now, I have to do a lot of scouting because this is probably gonna be a bit tricky. So it's 235,000 on the HQ. Now that shield gen is right there. Now, I don't think there's a lot in range. I mean, probably that shock launcher. But what I might be able to do is sneak down this right-hand side, take up that shock launcher, no, take, take up that shield gen, collect these free gumbo energies, get all the way over here. And then if I can clear a path to the HQ, then I might be able to take down... I mean, 230,000 is going to be probably a bit out of my range. So maybe I can take out those shield gens and then head back to the HQ and try and do a bit of damage. I'm not sure because there's not a lot in the way 
on the way up, is there? There's these. I could probably like artillery there and walk up this path here. There's not really much in the way. So that's what we are going to do, I think. These are... Uh... Yeah, I mean, we're pretty, pretty happy about this sort of layout. Now, we want to get rid of that. It'd be lovely to have critters right now. Sadly, we don't. Now, what I'm probably going to do is, let's just get these all dropped. Let's flare into this corner. Try and get a few smokes out. Now, it's going to probably be a bit expensive. We're going to use more than I want to. Oh, we just lost a bunch of troops. That's not good. Now, I can't... I don't know where to flare for this uh, shield gen. Did I get it? No, I didn't. So we might have to shock that shock launcher. Oh, lovely. They're getting in the way. Right, so take down the shield gen, and then let's just get out of the way. So I'm probably going to be able to take down the shield gens pretty easily, I think. Let's collect some more free gumbo energy. So that shock launcher is going to be annoying. Damn. So I'm not going to get anything done on the core. I think I've just got to focus on getting... Yeah, it's just going to be a pain. Let's get them out of the way. Let's just get over to that shield gen, get it taken down. Just so it's out of the way. And then let's flare onto the ground over here. We might not even get this done, actually. Come on, guys. Heal yourselves. Yeah, that rocket launch is causing some damage. Damn. Halfway done. Now, I think I just need one artillery is what I want. Because then I can take down those uh, mines there. Are they going to take... Oh, they might actually take it down. We've got four left. Taking some damage. Come on, guys. Boom. Alright, so that actually worked out very, very well. Now, I've set myself up... I mean, as, as best as I possibly can, I think, to, uh, to take down this core. Which would be pretty amazing. So, we lost all 42 there. It's going to be... Oh, 70 to train. Special occasion, first video in the series, so let's uh, let's go for it. But the resources are crazy on this. So I, yeah, I really want to do it. So what do we got there? 211,277. Now what's going to be really important is getting, uh, getting Brick as close as possible to make the most of her battle orders. And then it'll be one shock there, one shock there. Ah... Uh, yeah, I guess let's do this. We've got 79, so let's... <clears throat> right, let's smoke, smoke first. Let's get already gathered into that little area. Hopefully we don't take too much damage. Let's get a flare down there. Oh, we hit that mine. That's not good. Two smokes. Now what we might do is we'll flare into that area. And then re-flare onto the HQ. Oh, uh, we lost Brick. We lost Brick. <clears throat> oh, man. Where did Brick die? On the beach. Ah. Oh. We took down half of the health. That's... Oh, that was... Damn. That's disappointing. Because that was going to work out pretty well, I think. Ah, oh, well. We came close. Almost took stage 7 down. It was... Not terribly hard, but the two shield gens, I mean, I just made some bad mistakes or bad decisions trying to uh, clear the energy at the back. We got down the shield gens, so that's all we can really do. So stage six, pretty happy with that. We've got some resources to spend now. So let's go with, now I use warriors mostly, so maybe I should just do the med kits, that would be handy. Yeah, because I don't use riflemen, I don't use heavies, don't really use medics. I'd like to get the tanks upgraded, but obviously I don't have the tanks. Oh, I don't have enough of the tanks. So yeah, let's just do the med kits, because I'm going to use those. Oh, excuse me. And then in terms of upgrades, as you can see, there's not a whole lot that I can do. So we have the rocket launchers max for this level. 
Got that one maxed out. Got my storages maxed, I believe. Or oh, apart from that one, maybe I want to do that. I guess we can do that. Can't do the uh, can't do the sculptor. That's maxed for that level. The radar is maxed. These are maxed. So you're probably just gonna do that wood storage. Why not? Residents, I should probably work on those soon. Gold storage is both maxed. Or three of them are maxed, I should say. So yeah, let's just do that wood storage. Get that working. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna jump over to my war factory hits, which actually we might be able to do the replays of. No. Damn. Alright, yeah, so I'm gonna jump over and show off the replay, or not the replays, the uh, coverage that I got of my War Factory hits, and I will be back in just a second. Alrighty, so we are back. Now these are my War Factory hits that I pre-recorded, and this is attack number one. So attack number one is gonna be very, very easy. We're just gonna go up and uh, we're gonna remote hack those two rocket launchers. Now I think my Sparky, or the, uh, the hack, what is that hacking called? The hacking ability, I can't remember what it's called. Remote hack, there we go. It's only at level one, I believe. So it doesn't do a crazy amount of damage, but obviously it's gonna get the job done because those rocket launchers are surrounded by, you know, doom cannons, snipers, the boom surprise. No, not the boom surprise. Whatever those things are above it. So we're gonna get those two rocket launchers taken down. And now what I'm gonna do is just you know, drop these troops and uh, clear as best that I can. Now I made the mistake of not protecting Sparky, and as you can see, she got sniped very, very early on, which was very, very disappointing because I was gonna be able to use her critters to, uh, you know, obviously like take some of the hits from those sniper towers, those cannons and whatnot. So, not the greatest of beginnings. You see that little uh, pesky shock blast that is causing us some, you know, a few issues. But essentially all I wanted to do in this first attack was take out those rocket launchers and clear a little bit. I wasn't really hoping for too much, it was just sort of, you know, it is what it is, you get what you get, not going to be too, uh, too uh, disappointed if it doesn't go completely the plan. So yeah, we lost Sparky, but you know, we did, we did some work. It's just a little bit annoying having those grapplers and uh, all those defences right on the beach. Obviously that shock uh, shot Blast is picking us off as well. So we had a little bit of gumbo energy left as we lost all of our troops So we just threw this on the mortars just for fun and that is attack number one. So it, uh, it uh, worked out pretty pretty well So like I said don't have instant training on this account So I had to reload run away for half an hour 40 minutes however long it takes come back and do it again So we dropped those riflemen on the left to try and protect Sparky, but then as you can see Did we protect her again? No. We didn't protect her as well as we should have, and we lost her again for the second time in a row in the same silly little fashion. So that's just uh, something you got to watch out. For, you know, watch out for. You got to be protecting Sparky all the way. If I had critters as a gumbo ability, obviously it'd be a lot easier. But because I don't, and I didn't think about it too much, I uh, we lost Sparky again. But you know, as you can see, we're doing some more work. Getting those uh, mortars out of the way, the shock blaster out of the way was the goal for this attack. Now because we have five attacks, I'm not like, I don't know what, how, to, how to phrase this. I'm not like too concerned about, you know, only doing a little bit of work. Cause as you can see, we've probably only cleared like one, two, three, four, five, six, maybe like eight buildings, maybe eight buildings, 12 buildings, not a lot in, uh, in terms of, uh, you know the war factory but we are doing our best and we're just getting some work done so the goal for this attack was to obviously get the mortars done and the shock blaster done the mortars have a little bit of health left so it's not terrible but you know we're doing work we're getting done what we need to get done so now we're jumping into the third attack once again we're doing the same sort of drop rifleman on the left we have ever spark on the far right and thankfully there are no mortars or sniper towers or cannons in the way to do any damage to her and we can use her ability to get some critters out, which is very, very awesome. And we're just going to clear those mines, and then we're going to—I think—we're going to flare back, so that we can just sort of create a nice little spot. Now, I did miss flare there. That's why all my troops are walking over there. That wasn't planned at all, and that obviously, this was just not a good uh, series of attacks. We lost Sparky twice very early on. Did that miss flare there? Not good at all. 
But yeah, as you can see, we're getting into a bit of a sweet spot there, getting the mortars out of the way. Now, the grapplers are obviously being a pain, but the uh, boom cannon, no, sorry, the doom cannon isn't really going to range us, I think, once we get into that corner. But yeah, once that machine gun is done, we are, we're in great, great shape. So the last few Zookas are going to do what they can now. And that is going to be it for this attack, I think. But they did well. Those, those critters, that's what I'm saying. These critters are a game changer. Because they're distracting all those little single shot defenses. And we're keeping all those Zookas. Those last, what, eight Zookas lasted a, you know, a decent amount of time, which is awesome. That's exactly what you want from, uh, from your critters. So, uh, last little bit now before Sparky gets grappled. And as you can see, everything is clear that needs to be cleared. So now it's just going to be a straight core hit. Obviously, we've had a lot of troop casualties, which isn't the best. But because I don't mind attacking, waiting, you know, retraining them and then going out again, it's, you know, it's not that big of a deal. So now we went all Zookas and Brick. So we're just going to flare up into that corner, try and get them nice and tight. So we have a few grapplers hitting us. Needed to protect Brick because I didn't want her getting poached because that would be hugely disappointing. And we're going to shock, not shock, we're going to smoke all the way down to this little spot here, which is out of range of those flamethrowers, the doom cannon. I think one of those sniper towers might be in range, but it's not that bad. Flare onto the HQ had enough for a few shocks and as you can see the HQ is going down very very easily and there's not a lot stopping us so that is War Factory taken down on a HQ 16 account with uh, unboosted as well and just not the greatest of statues so I hope that you enjoyed seeing this uh, this War Factory takedown I will be back in just a second so I hope you all enjoyed this video, the first episode of my HQ16 series. Now as I said earlier, we're going to be trying to cover daily events, operations, mega crab, map clearing and all of that good stuff. With the goal to, I guess, help you become a better player. I'm going to give you tips and tricks along the way, let you know what I'm thinking, my sort of thought process when I'm attacking bases, doing operation hits and whatnot. So yeah, definitely let me know what you think. Um, let me know if you have any questions or thoughts on the direction that I could take this series I'd like to get your feedback and obviously this video is for you guys to help you improve in your uh, in your boom beach skills so uh, you know once again thank you very much for all the support on all of the videos if you're new around here please consider subscribing it would mean a great deal to me and uh, remember to like comment all of that good stuff and yeah that's gonna be it for today's video so thank you very much and the demo is out of here